Hello everybody, I'm Zombie Skittles and welcome back to Hand of Fate. Do you have what it Let's takes go in for the fourth the round. I think we're fighting the Jack of Make Plague, if choices. I recall. So we have to go story mode. I just noticed that that case has hands. And we're going for the Jack of Plague. Uh, tw curses, twice a fail. The player loses five gold for every fail and ten gold for every huge failure chance card. Challenges, three times Ratman hunting mob and three times angry mob. Ah! The rats. They have swarmed up from the dark places beneath the realms of humanity and now squat amongst your cities and feast and shriek and hunt and writhe. Our Lord of Plague does like to rub your nose in misfortune. Sounds good. I love this guy's voice. I've, I haven't said that yet. Even though he has yaoi hands, his voice is amazing. I wish I could deal cards like this, that'd be freaking rad. I am a casino dealer, uh, croupier by trade, and if I were able to just fan cards out perfectly like that, I mean, not using magic, of course, I mean manually, that would be impressive. Alright, choose my next card. Twisted Canyon. It's a very common card for us to end up with, but it, this is normal, I guess. See a wimp and glen glinting skeleton next to it, climb down and retrieve the weapon. We got three chances of success, one a failure. We're gonna go third card. Success! Our streak continues. Maybe we'll make it four episodes without anything going wrong. What weapon do we get? Huge hammer! The new the new one I got last episode. As you strike, as you string together consecutive attacks, you do greatly increased damage. Press the left bumper to unleash a force explosion. And it has holy damage. Which means it'll be super that effective against uh, skeletons and other undead. Let's go straight up. Forest escape, another new card. Roaming ever forward. Roaming for the truth. Your path forwards takes you into a forest. You have discovered the exit to this area. Uh, take the forest path, why not? You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Each oh! of these cards is crafted. So that was from like your taking the stairs. And built Let's go from up. your experience. I created them. Traveling only jeweler. in the abstract. It is the important thing to place find a traveling that merchant looking for trade wandering adventurers. We're going to pass it by. I have no money. So we're just going to push forward. Angry mob. We're just so hitting all the new cards, aren't we? As you approach the small town of Witchburn, <laughs> an angry mob of peasants marches forth and confronts you. The rat men have eaten all of our food. We're starving. We demand food. Um. Can't give them half my food because we still got to go through another thing after this. We're going to. Um, I wish I had a coin. Alright, I'm gonna flip something. If it's face up, you won't know, but if it's face up, we avoid them. If it's face down, we give them nothing. Either way, negative for them, though. Alright. We're giving them nothing. You try to ask them why they have no food, and to explain that they have no reason to attack you. The hungry peasants surround you, even as you try to speak. So we can either have a success, a failure, a failure, or a huge failure. This isn't good. This isn't looking good. Oh! <laughs> I have to wonder if the deck's stacked in my favor, because sh odds-wise, that, that shouldn't have worked, but it did. Jesus. Oh, good. Once the ratmen begin to creep towards the edge of the town, Anger follows shortly so, behind. So, plot-wise, I've reached the- I've approached the town of Witchburn, angry mob confronts me, so I try to avoid the crowd, only to encounter another angry mob. That's great. That's great. Uh, this time we're going to try to avoid the crowd. We turn around and head away from the crowd. Get him! Somebody cries, RUN! Alright, I like these odds a bit better, it's at least 50-50. We're gonna go... that guy. <laughs> Swing. The starving peasants don't have enough energy to catch you, and you flee. I am a dick. But we made it to the stairs. Down once more. Take the stairs. We've got four food gold. left, and we're rushing. We're actually rushing through, and we don't have Hush. nearly the, the items I need. Scratch the traveling tiles. tinker. I still don't have gold. Ah, um, we're gonna pass by. I don't have gold or any items to give him. Alright, we're going to go 
up. Devil's Carnival. All right, new card time, with a token on it. These traveling shows are but mockeries of the true. Mysteries. One day, as as dusk gathers, you receive a lot. You reach a large country town hosting a traveling circus. Strange sights and stranger smells confront you as you begin to wander between tents and stalls that were once brightly colored, but now are faded and stained with dust. Peasants and nobles alike wander the streets and alleys, past wonders and amazement, seeming almost dazed. There is something about the place that dulls your senses, and for a while you forget your quest. Forget even the path that brought you to this place. Shit, bro. Huge sh Okay. This... Okay. Choose from these options. Um, uh, one of these two. Alright. Gonna flip a thing again. Sorry, I'm just reaching for it. If it's face up, we go for the left. Face up. Alright. Come on. <laughs> Fuck yes. Cheers and grasps draw... Cheers and gasps draw you to a large tent. Inside you discover a number of spectacles being performed by consume by costumed artists. Okay, we got a similar thing. This, okay. And it continues! Along the back of, a large, of the large tent you discover a row of cages. Strange creatures look at you mournfully through the bars. You stop at the sight of a beast with the body of a lion and the head of a man. Please help me! The beast explains. I was born a man, but then I came here. They did this to me. You open the cage and the beast jumps out saying, Bless you, stranger. I may live out my days as an animal, but at least I won't have to perform for these devils. Draw one blessing card. Holy touch. Very Un nice indeed. I was trying to talk. Undead that, undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. That's useful. The man beast turns and flees between the other cages, swiping at them in fury as he passes. Various other cages break open, releasing a number of unusual looking beasts that fly away. This card's token is now yours. Some time later, you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest, the sounds of crowds behind you, day's just dawning, but which day? Looking back, you see the ruined buildings of a country town long ago abandoned. Some time later, you find yourself standing at the edge of a forest, the sounds... Oh, okay, so it was the same thing, I just was rereading it. I thought it changed. We've only got one food left. Okay. That's cool, mage. I'm, I need to hope that I've got something to sell. I may need to sell my hammer, which is a terrifying thought for me. I have an I have an axe and a shield. I can sell the axe, and I think I can buy one more food. Are you a woodsman turned warrior now? Shut up. Value six. Why does it cost I'm six sure for one free. food now? Oh no! Shit! I don't want to sell my hammer or my shield. Okay. Let's just hope this is something. Goblins, being stout and meek. Goblins know they cannot use strength or fear to survive. They rely on more mischievous methods. They steal from you when you are asleep and escape through magical portals. So the treasure goblins from Diablo 3. Scavengers of the earth tell tales of hidden vaults that these goblins hide their ill-gotten loot in. Their portals are made by dark magic, unkind to all but themselves. So we can't we take play the for a token now. Sounds fun. One night you awaken to find your belongings being rifled through by goblins. As soon as they notice your story, they run away with your weapon. They have also stolen some of your food and gold. Good luck to them. I had no food anyway. Am I chasing them and attacking them? Two goblins and I guess I'm chasing them because... Why not? <laughs> I have your hammer and you have no weapons. Give me my weapon. Die. Now this other guy. Yeah. 
Yeah, they got nothing. That was great. They didn't run as much as I thought they would. It's probably a first encounter. We're going to go easy on you sort of thing. Whew. With the goblin threat dealt with, you continue on your way. This well card circle is now yours. I got nothing. Oh, I got full food now. When did I get more food? That's that's great. Ratmen hunting. Now you begin to trespass upon the ratmen's hunting grounds. Assemble across a ratmen hunting party. Prepare to defend yourself. Dealer draws you one monster card of plague. So plague is rats. It's simple. So probably when we fight the jack of plague, it's going to be hit the boss plus a bunch of rats. Plague I have a hammer now, guys. So. And plague by nature. The rats leave behind a deadly toxin. It, there's like my my frame rate drops when I'm in these fights, which kind of sucks. I mean, that poison. Okay, thank God, I was losing way too much health there. Because apparently, rats freaking fart when they die. But yeah, my frame rate drops. I might have to lower the visual quality, which is a shame. Alright, you sigh as you search for bodies, finding nothing. If only there was a way to stop this plague of rat men. Pay someone to take care of it, perhaps. And what do we encounter? More rat men they will not hunting. Let you pass so easily. Prepare yourself. Hopefully these ones have something like to loot. Alright, well we ugh, 73 health. We know that we have to dodge from this side. Oh yeah. Oh, they're just... Alright. I don't like this projectile shit. Alright, where are you? No, you're not getting me easily. Oh, smack your face off. Now, even if he was alive, he's drowning to death. Alright. Do we get anything? You size, you search the bodies, finding nothing. If only there was a way to stop this plague of rat men. Alright, come on, please be where we need to go. Jack of Plague. Alright, but I am almost you dead, so this will be plague hard. And pestilence. And blood. And teeth. Faster and stronger than normal rat men, this beast inspires all vermin around him to strike faster the more damage he sustains. Again, a token is at stake. Yep. I am aware, very sadly. Whew. Alright. He's a rat man! <laughs> Alright. So, we should go after these guys first up. Oh, frick! Yeah, I'm gonna die, I reckon. In second shots, lock and reflect. Oh, that poison, I forgot about it. Am I taking constant poison damage? I am so dead. Okay, he's dead, now we gotta get away from the poison. Oh, no! We were doing so well. Death. Blood stains the ground beneath your corpse. And so the game takes another life. Do not worry, though. You may try again. Your weapon has powers, yet you haven't used them. And now you're dead. Oh, yeah, I had the deadly explosion ability I never bothered using. He's very perceptive. I completely forgot about it. For freeing a victim of the Devil's Carnival, you receive the Giant Eagle. For encountering the goblins, you receive... Time heals and more goblins. Well, that wasn't a bad run. We got all the way to the boss. That's the first time we've died. 
anyway thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time where hopefully we'll be able to take on the jack of plague